Choosing the best photos from a photo shoot or even from your entire collection of images can be a real challenge. Not only does it take a lot of time to go through hundreds or even thousands of photos, but choosing the best shots from a bunch of similar files can be really, really tough, even if you're an experienced photographer with a pretty well-honed eye. And that's what makes Xire's Aesthetics AI feature so useful. It's been trained by expert photographers using hundreds of thousands of images to intelligently evaluate photos. In fact, this exact AI technology has been used as a judge in international photography competitions, and in Xire Photo 2025, you can actually use it to sort your own images. So when you add photos to Xire, here, you're going to want to make sure that this Analyze Photos option is toggled. Once you have that toggled and you go ahead, the import process, the Aesthetics AI model is going to analyze each of your files and output an aesthetic score from 0 to 100, indicating exactly how aesthetically pleasing the image appears. And you can see this in the right hand side under the AI and Keywords tab. So here's the aesthetic score. If I click through, you can see changes depending on the photo because it is assigned intelligently to each file. This isn't some sort of a random uh, number. Instead, Xire is doing the real work behind the scenes to analyze the image and give the result. Now, as I alluded to a moment ago, this can be extremely useful for quickly calling your images. And it can also be a great way to find your best photos, including some hidden gems from deep within your Xire catalog. Now, the simplest way to work with Xire's aesthetic values is to use the sort by aesthetics option, which is just right up here. So if I say sort by aesthetics, I've selected descending. So Xire is going to sort my entire catalog in order of the aesthetic scores. First, with the images that are most highly ranked, so we see the high aesthetic score here, and then getting progressively lower as we go down. Now, as you can see here, the top images are really breathtaking. But what if I want to see the worst images in my catalog? Well, I can reverse this. I say I want to sort by ascending, and then this will give you a sense of what Xire doesn't view as a good image. So these corrupted images have uh, very poor aesthetic scores. Um, these images with poor exposure, images that haven't really been edited yet, that's what Xire's judge, Xire's Aesthetics AI model, sees as the worst images. And what's also really cool here is that the aesthetic scores can be used as part of our brand new culling project workflow to quickly select the best images you've taken in a single photo shoot or from a particular day or even from uh, a category of images. So all of your landscape images, for instance. Now, for more details on how that works, this culling workflow, I do encourage you to watch our dedicated culling video. But basically, you would open the culling tab here, this culling projects tab, and then you hit the plus icon here and you're going to create a culling project. Um, and when you actually go ahead and run this culling project, you're going to get something like this, where Xire actually groups images from your photo shoot according to different criteria, such as, for instance, visual similarity. And within these groups, you can sort by aesthetics. And that's what's really cool. If I look here on this group one, I can sort by aesthetics. I can say that I want ascending or descending, and then I can just quickly pick the best images. Of course, these culling projects have a lot of other features that you can use for sorting, not just the aesthetic score, but I did want to mention it so you have a sense of how you can use the aesthetic scores to quickly go through and call photos.